everyone, my name is Ernesto Jimenez, I am a Peruvian photographer based in Miami, Florida, and in this video I'm going to show you how I incorporate aftertouch retouch in my portrait editing workflow. Let's go right to it. Okay, so these photos have already been cooled and edited, we're only going to retouch them here in aftershoot, so for that I'm going to create an album, and I'm going to just drag and drop the photos. So I am going to drag the photos here, I'm just going to work with these four photos here, and I'm going to go straight to the retouch. Now as you can see, this is the photo I am going to work with, and I have a lot of options here on my right hand side. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to collapse them so I don't get confused with what I change or where I change it so I can go in order. With my mouse scroll, I can get closer to the photo to see what I, what I have to work in. I like to do this in order. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with the blemish removal area or section. So I got acne, freckle, and blemish blemishes. Uh, I'm gonna go halfway just to see what it does. And I can already see it's getting rid of some blemishes like this one here. There's a button here for the before and after. So you can see the before and after. So it is getting rid of some stuff. Now the main problem in this photo, which we have a lot of here in Miami, is basically the face shine. So we are going to find that on a different section, but just so you guys know, I can't get rid of that with after shoot retouch. So after I've gone through this section here, which honestly I didn't need to do that much because her skin is already good and she's good, she's wearing good makeup. Uh, I'm gonna collapse this again. I'm gonna see what wrinkles I need. Maybe a little of the eye bags. There's no forehead wrinkle here, but there's an option for that. So I'm going to just reduce her eye bags a little bit. You can already see the change. Like I told you, we have the before and after option right here. So you can see the before and after. So there's a change right there. Smile lines, well, they're not that marked or pronounced, so I'm not gonna use that for that. Um, teeth, they do not be, need to be brightened or whitened, but if you need to do that, there's an option for that here, so I'm gonna collapse that. And here we are in face. Now, I know I said I go in order, but for this photo, I wanna get rid of the face shine because it is the most distracting thing for this particular portrait. So here's the face shine removal, and I'm gonna go high, like 80%, see what happens. And I already have a change. Now, if you see the before and after, the face shine option does give me a very different image. This option is just great for me. Now, after I've done that, I might try and soften her skin a little bit. We can see it's a little rough here in some areas. I am going to smoothen her skin, not too much, just a tad. I don't want it to look fake. That was a little too much. And that's perfect for me. Now, if you can see the face shine removal tool, it reduced the face shine, but we still have some highlights where the face shine used to be because it is the natural thing to happen. You are going to have some areas of your face that are going to reflect a little more light depending on your makeup or sweat or whatever. So getting entirely rid of it uh, is never a good idea. We're gonna go to the hair section and we can work on the straight hairs uh, in this portrait, as you can see. So I'm gonna go a little high, see what happens. And we're already seeing the straight hairs go away. Let's go all the way to 100% just to see, see what result we get. So if we have this portrait here, this is the before, this is the after, face shine, freckles, acne, smoothening. Now this is just in the face section. As you guys can see, we have a body and patch section. After I smoothen or worked on her face, I like the neck to also have some retouch. So there's not like this strange contrast of this silky skin and then just roughness down here. So I am going to smoothen her body and remove the blemishes from her body too. And that is going to retouch a little bit of her neck. Now, there are some options that are not available yet, but they are coming soon, like the de-wrinkling of clothing. And in the face uh, section, there is a couple of options here in hair. For instance, hair darkening, it's coming soon too. So after I've done that, this portrait is pretty much done. We also have a patch tool which I could use for things like, I don't know, you see the, the wrinkles in the background paper? I can, I can get rid of that, I think, with the brush tool. I just need to brush over the areas I want to get rid of. And then I just apply. And that is going to get rid of those paper wrinkles I had in the background. Now that's good. There's also some wrinkles up here, so I'm gonna brush over them so we can get rid of them. And after that, my portrait is going to be pretty much done. 
Now the good thing about the aftershoot retouch is I can use this photo to either create a preset, name it whatever I want to name it, and then apply the same preset to different photos. That preset is going to be found here in the preset area. Or I can just select the first photo, shift select all the images and synchronize the edits to all the photos. So if you've shot, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 portraits with the same background, uh, or the same person in the same lighting conditions, you can copy your retouch options so that everything just looks the same in every single image. So that's that's a good thing here in Aftershoot Retouch. So this is the photo I worked on. This is a photo I just copied the changes into. And as you can see, this is the final image. We have the before and after. I like how the straight hair just, the straight hair option got rid of this area here. It worked on the straight hairs outside her face, clean and natural. I didn't copy the patches, but I could have. I could copy the changes to even more photos and then I would be done with 50, 60, 70 images in around two or three minutes, which is great because if I were to edit the photos manually, going one by one with frequency, frequency separation and patching the little blemishes and acne and whatever, that would take me just extremely long. But with Aftershoot Retouch, we can do it in just under a couple of minutes. Thank you guys for watching and always keep an eye open for whatever Aftershoot has to offer. See you guys in the next one.